Today we're going to sketch a graph of the completed square form and as you can see, this is actually the completed square form we have something with a square and something outside there Now what we do have to understand is that from the completed square form we can actually have two points in which we can uh, use to draw to sketch a graph First will be the y-intercept So y-intercept would be when x is equal to 0 so we will have it as y is equals to 0 minus 3 squared minus 5 and that will give us 9 minus 5 which is 4 so in this case here this will be the y intercept which is 0 4 we will be using this at a later point to help us to sketch the graph now the other thing that we can actually get will be the turning point how do we get the turning point to get the x value we can actually use whatever is within the bracket and set it to 0 so in this case here we will get a line x equals to 3 and this will in fact be the line of symmetry as well so in this case here this is the line of symmetry and for every turning point it will lie on the line of symmetry so this will give us the x coordinate of the turning point now how are we going to get the y coordinate of the turning point so currently we have 3 here for x what we do understand is that there is a value here which is also the bracket minus 5 so this will in fact give you the y coordinate of the turning point because what this basically means is that I have a coordinate graph and I translated it down by 5 units so this will be the lowest point that it can go so this will be my turning point just with these two coordinates it will be enough for us to sketch a graph so what we will need to do is that we will have our axis so we will have uh, 0, 4 so on the y-axis we will have 4 and this will be our x-axis which will look something like this and probably we will have this number here which is 3 and negative 5 will probably be somewhere around there and this is in fact our line of symmetry which is x equals to 3 so our turning point is actually at 3, negative 5 so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to mark out a cross here and this will be the lowest point that it will go it will also pass through 0, 4 so I will mark another cross here to show that this is where we're going to go through as well so basically this will be a minimum graph because as you can see from the original question there is no negative sign outside which means that this will be a positive equation here for this part here so this will be a minimum graph so we're going to go through this point all the way down and up all right i hope you do a better job than me so that this one will look a little bit more symmetrical so this is the equation y equals to x minus 3 squared minus 5